Have you created a book, video game, movie, or YouTube channel? Have you spent countless hours meticulously crafting an exciting story in hopes to sell it to others? Did you believe that the hard part was over and that your story would be so good that it would sell itself? Well, you're completely right. Now, naturally, most markets are flooded with a massive glut of content, which only means that your stuff will stand out even more. But one does have the option, and let me stress that this next part is completely optional, to market and promote your creation. Don't worry, marketing requires no effort whatsoever and is totally not akin to beating your head against a brick wall. Not at all. Now the first step is really simple. An author has to let as many people as possible know they have a book for sale. This is done by constantly spamming out posts at every opportunity and as many places as possible while being loud and obnoxious. By the way, just thought I'd mention that I wrote a book. I just thought I'd bring that up for no reason whatsoever. Now what was I saying? Oh yes, just keep reminding people that you have a story to sell over and over again, just like that book I wrote. I'm sure these constant and ceaseless reminders won't get on people's nerves at all, just like my awesome book. This is especially effective in person. Constantly steer the conversation to be about one's work, no matter how awkward or vaguely related it is. Continue talking about the book even after the potential customer's eyes have glazed over and they start looking for a quick exit from the conversation. No need for a quick, well-thought-out sales pitch that will allow the customer to quickly gauge if the book is a good match for their specific taste. Need more places to promote? Just barge into random internet forums only vaguely related to your subject matter. Don't bother to read any of the forum rules. Just spam out links to your work and then complain after getting unfairly banned. Be sure to start posting on Reddit as well. I hear they love people who self-promote without following the rules. And don't worry about bothering to spell check one's post or about using proper English. I see no reason why anyone would hesitate to buy a book from someone who can barely spell. Another good tip is to constantly boast about all of one's remarkable credentials and achievements. All an author has to do is to keep talking about how awesome they are while neglecting to mention anything about their work. I'm sure that ceaseless bragging will engage a potential audience rather than drive them away at a sight of a bloated ego. Don't forget to brag about being a New York Times best-selling author. It's not like that's slapped on the cover of books so often that's become a meaningless designation. Don't have any credentials? That's fine. Just make them up. No one will question a book that's won a Nobel Hugo Newberry Medal of Honor. Still not selling any books? Don't worry, we just need a social media presence. Social media is a great way to market and certainly not a massive time sink. Authors should always share their controversial political views on their marketing social media profiles as well as become embroiled in constant arguments over trivial personal affairs. That won't alienate large potential audiences. After all, important opinions on things unrelated to the author's artistic work and out of their field of expertise must be heard. Another essential marketing tool for any author is reviews. Now it's commonly assumed that reviews are something customers give a book after reading in order to inform others about the quality of the work. This is a common misconception. Book reviews are something you pay for. I'm sure an Amazon page full of similarly worded five-star reviews won't seem suspicious at all. The only other option is to pathetically beg for reviews. Oh, and don't forget to respond to negative reviews. People who clearly don't understand the author's genius must be set straight. If an author is not allowed to directly respond to a negative review, then be sure to make a bogus account to act as a sock puppet on their behalf. No one will instantly see through that, and I'm sure that behavior won't come across as unprofessional. Need an even greater online reach? Make a YouTube channel. That's like super easy. YouTube is a great creator-friendly platform that always respects fair use and is known for its easy-to-understand algorithm and lack of a competitive environment. Even better, YouTube channels grow themselves without any promotion, just like books. Imagine how absurd it would be to have to market your marketing. Tired of annoying, I mean, promoting to people on the internet? Buy a table at a local convention. This is an excellent place to alienate, um, I mean, meet new people and sell your work. Just show up with zero planning and preparation. It'll all work out. And the best part about conventions is that one can physically block the escape of any potential customer. What an excellent opportunity to force a sales pitch down their throat. Getting desperate? Perfect. Nothing sells quite like desperation, and it won't appear unprofessional at all. If all else fails, then abduct your potential customer's families and hold them for ransom. And if you want to see them again, you will buy my book. JP Bobian here. I just wanted to thank everyone who subscribed. You guys are awesome. Also, I do read and appreciate comments. I am just terrible at responding to them. I hope you enjoyed this video and that you stick around for more in the future.